Hi, I'm Hannah from Hannah Larkin Photography and I'm joined by Mark who is a silversmith and jewellery designer. Hi Mark, how are you doing? Uh, good afternoon Hannah and um, thank you for inviting me for um, a little chat. You're very uh, welcome. Oh, you're welcome. Um, I'm, so I'm Mark Fenn, I'm based in West Wales. Um, I run a jewellery studio and a jewellery sort of like lessons but my wedding thing is I have couples come and make each other's wedding rings with me in a day so yeah um, I have loved up couples coming to me and we have um, a good day whacking metal drinking tea uh, eating cake and um, having fun <laughs> it sounds such a cool idea for couples who want to do something that little bit different a little bit more kind of personal in their in their wedding jewelry and and am I right in thinking that you also make you can also be kind of commissioned to make um, rings for people who maybe aren't able to come and do it with you in person? Uh, yeah, if someone wants um, something uh, like a design, yes, we can discuss it. Um, mm -hmm. With the ones over the internet, um, I can sort of like make things for anywhere in the world. Um, I have clients in Japan. I've got clients from China. I've had couples, uh, the last couple who came, a um, lovely couple called uh, Sarah and Alan, who were mm -hmm. English. But they're based in Slovakia, so they okay. did Skyping and they came over last a fortnight ago. Um, they've left the wedding rings with me because they've gone for some optional extras that can't be done in a day, like um, mm -hmm. Alan's having a diamond uh, set in his, um, Sarah is having some engraving. So there are certain things that can be done, sorry, didn't, done in a day, but there yeah. are options that um, the rings are left with me and we take care of that. But that's all decided during the initial consultation. So okay. I can consult by the internet or people come and see me. But yeah, I can, yeah. I can make the rings to commission. Okay. And if couples are, um, or if someone is getting in contact with you about a bespoke uh, engagement ring, do they tend to have proposed already, are you finding? Or are you getting couples coming for you before that? Um, no, the my okay. The, the the speciality or the niche that I'm working with is the the wedding bands, the wedding rings. Mm. Um, what seems to have happened is um, the engagement ring is already taken care of. Not that um, mm. I don't know, if someone wants me to do an engagement ring, I will. But what ha seems to happen is they have the engagement ring and then they come to me about doing about their the own wedding band. Um, how, imp how important is it that you can kind of see their engagement ring and get a feeling of it how much do they need to match your wedding and your um, engagement ring? not really because what i offer the classics um, okay. the classic wedding bands and i've got this ready is um how we buy the bullion it comes yeah. in certain formats uh, and we call it wire within the trade. And uh, here goes. How it comes, it can come in round. Yeah. This is the classic one, which is D. It's okay. called D wire. Okay. This one is oval, or some people will call it a court ring. And then this one is just out of the sheet. Um, gentlemen seem to be going for that one because they can have any thickness and any width, okay. whereas these will come in particular sizes. So um, it's, if they want to send me photographs of their engagement ring, um, they do so. The thing that I'm really, um, okay, what I ask for is the ring size, mm -hmm. also the metal of the engagement ring, um, because if you've got a 18 karat gold engagement ring with diamonds or whatever, you normally have, rule of thumb, same metal as your engagement ring. Um, okay. But that doesn't always, always go. Um, that's a rule of thumb, and that's the general thing, but there are exceptions. But I discuss this with couples um, in the process. Um, if they give me enough time, sometimes I, I get couples who are saying, oh, we're getting married next month. Can we come and make our wedding rings? Okay. Yes, we can do, but um, it sometimes limits the options. Um the thing that seems to cause me not cause me problems is if someone's got a, an heirloom engagement ring 
and it's quite mm. large and it's stones that they want the ring to go round. Fit it. Mm -hmm. That is um, can be problematic, but we can work round. Okay? okay, I'm here to help. So even if you've got quite a kind of unusual engagement ring, like you say, maybe a an heirloom piece. That does have a more fiddly outline, I guess, rather than a, sort of a continuous band. You can still work around that to find find a, a wedding ring that's going to work for that shape. Yeah, there, there are yeah there are a couple of ways. Um, I have engagement rings sent to me, and then what I do is take a template mm -hmm. and I get that template ready for the gentleman to cut it out. Um, they make the rings, I don't. So okay. I facilitate their their progress. Um, so I say I make a template, it's laid flat, and they, they cut around that. Um, they have practice metal to work on first. Good. Um, I was going to ask about that. Whether you, How long does it take for someone to be able to do that in a way that's going to give them a ring to wear for the rest of their life? <laughs> it's a day. It can be a long day. Okay. Day. <laughs> um, what happens, okay, the couples make the wedding rings, um, and at the end of the day, we make a judgment call um, whether I let them out. Um, I'm not going to let anything out of the studio that I wouldn't put my name to. So sometimes what happens is, is the clients, because it's something new, and yeah. if they're going around an engagement ring, um, sometimes the finish would need a bit of what I would call refining. Okay. So what I do is I would keep the rings, I would – do the fine final adjustments, and then they either have them hallmarked or they get sent to them. Okay. Um, okay. I don't charge for that. I don't charge for any work. Okay. They pay for the day, and mm -hmm. if I think that there's going to be some extra work, which may be just a couple of hours, that's down to me. Um, it's all okay. it's all about it's all transparent. And so it's still the ring that they've made. I assume for the other person, do they make each other's rings or? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, yeah. so for instance, if you came to me, you'd mm -hmm. make your partner's ring and your partner's ring, make your ring. Okay. There's no romance in making your own wedding ring. It's uh, <laughs> making something with love. Um, the other person. In a ring. Um, and it's, it's really nice. Okay. I have um, all sorts of couples. Okay. Mm -hmm. I have um, what you would call heterosexual couples, I have gay couples, um, yeah. okay, so I I cater for everybody, I, no, no yeah. judgment, I, yeah. what I'm there is to make, help them make each other's wedding bands, um, yeah. and it's a lovely day. And so that's really reassuring as well, that perhaps you don't have to be super arty or really good with your hands, you'll be helped to make something, and then if it's not quite right, it'll just be kind of finished off by you as the professional, Mark. Yeah, that to be quite honest, that doesn't happen that often. Um, mm -hmm. it, it's where the ring, say, like Alan's ring that he made, it just needed refining, and literally, it was just making sure that the edges were smooth. There was no saw blade marks. It was just making sure that if someone looked at it, they wouldn't go, "Oh, hang on, okay." Mm -hmm. um, what they take with them is a ring that they would be proud of, and um, that. I know the quality is there. Okay, I'm all about mm -hmm. making sure that they make something that has a quality to it, but also um, made with love. Yes, so important. And it sounds yes. like you could, you can also add a few kind of optional extras if people want engraving, for example. That's something that yeah. you can do. Yeah. Um, uh, okay. Uh, the optional extras are, are engraving, um, hallmarking, but that's a different ball game altogether. There is a information thing on the the, the wedding express so about hallmarking explaining okay. to couples if couples really want to know they can go to the goldsmith centers or the goldsmith company's website and there's information there about hallmarking um but yeah so and also like if they want stone set stone setting okay. cannot be done today um okay. it's, it's a three-year apprenticeship for setting stones so um uh trying to teach someone in a day it doesn't happen, but it can be done. But we can discuss those options. So that could be so, added on. Okay. Yeah. And, um, and where can couples go to find you, Mark, if they if they want to make their own wedding rings with you? Where do they need to go oh, to contact um, you? 
Okay, it, it's uh, my website is my name, so it's uh, the three W's, uh, Mark Fenn, that's F E W N dot co dot UK, and the Mark Fenn is uh, all in one word, all one word. Um, click there, there's information, there's some uh, links. Um, if they want to fill in the form, if they want to phone me, email me, I'm available, um, not 24 7, but seven days a week. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> Oh, well, thank you so much, Mark. It's been lovely speaking with you and hearing about this, this sort of unique way of making, making your wedding bands together. Uh, Hannah, thank you. It's been absolutely lovely speaking to you and have a good afternoon. Thank you. You're welcome.